Today, we're talking about the British pound GBP USD following those US CPI numbers and also retail sales. I'll show you the key levels I'm watching, where I'm looking to potentially short this market over the coming days, and also the latest on the DXY, including a critical area that the market is approaching this week. Now, if you guys do want my help with your trading, click on the link at the top of this video, and that's going to give you 90% off lifetime access to the VIP course and community, which I just launched the course a couple of weeks ago. And the community is real-time chat on Forex, crypto, commodities, and stocks. I'm also in there every day helping traders, answering questions, posting charts. So you're going to get exclusive setups from me, daily videos that you can only get there, and also seeing my trades in real time. That includes entries, take profits, and stop losses. So see the link in the description of this video, or if you're on the website, click on that link that says join VIP. Okay, so looking at the British pound, very similar to the Euro USD that we talked about yesterday, ahead of today's CPI numbers, the market has been coiling here for the last couple of years, which you can see that looking at this weekly time frame, we do have a trend line off of these highs from back here. And the market is really getting squeezed here uh, over the past few months within this pattern. And this is why we've seen, you know, so far in 2024, a lot of sideways price action, a lot of indecision, because we are kind of getting to the apex of this pattern. Now, before we talk about the daily levels that I'm watching here and a potential short that's coming up, I want to show you the DXY and also talk about what happened with today's U.S. Consumer Price Index numbers. So this week we had U.S. PPI and CPI, which are both key inflation uh, measures here in the U.S. and abroad. And what you can see here is that, uh, of course, CPI came in higher than forecast. We talked about this yesterday uh, during the Euro USD video. However, the key to this, though, yesterday was that even though PPI came in higher than forecast, quite a bit higher, we did have revisions lower. And these were significant revisions lower for the previous reading, which helped to offset what we saw here with the 0.5% readings. Now, with today's CPI, okay, we're going to talk about CPI and also retail sales. With core CPI today, it came in mostly in line with forecast numbers. However, we did see uh, CPI month over month come in slightly lower. Okay, so a tenth of a percent lower and no revisions here for CPI. Okay, so this right here was a lower reading. So therefore bearish the US dollar, although... We are seeing the dollar, you know, head significantly lower today, um, mostly based on retail sales as well, because you can see here that retail sales down here came in flat and core retail sales came in in line. However, we had revisions lower for both of these numbers. So if you look here, core retail sales was revised from 1.1% during the previous reading down to 0.9% and retail sales came in flat. So that was well below the forecast number. And the previous reading also got revised lower from 0.7 to 0.6%. So all of this right here, including this slightly cooler CPI reading, is weighing on the dollar today. Now, this right here, in my opinion, right, is not going to be uh, enough, in my opinion, to say that inflation is headed lower. Because keep in mind that this is the first cooler print that we've seen and I believe, the last five consecutive CPI prints. Because we have seen very hot numbers come out month after month, and this is the first one in five months. So it's not enough to say a change in trend and inflation is dropping again because that's really not the case. Um, inflation is still very sticky, at least here in the US. But with all that said, though, I, I did want to explain this just because it is uh, important for what we're seeing here today with the price action. But for me, guys, it all comes down to what these markets do here over the coming days. Because I'm 100% technical, um, I do pay attention to fundamentals, but I base my trades on technicals. And when we look at the pound, we can see that the market, you know, once again, this is that coiling that we've seen here over the past couple of years. And we're no longer in this environment back here, where you can see we had this really nice trend because notice the, the distance from resistance up here down here to support. And right now we're in a completely different environment where the distance from resistance to support has dropped by about half from what we saw last year. And that's why we've seen a lot of this tight price action so far this year and just messy conditions overall. So for the pound, I'm, I have no interest in trading it right now um, just because we did see, you know, US CPI come out, markets are volatile, and also the fact that the market is still uh, kind of within the middle of this range here. So whether we see the pound come up here and give us a full retest of this trend line uh, or not, this is the trend line from those 2021 highs is yet to be seen. But we do also have highs up here around 1.27. And we also have a breakdown candle back here, which we got a decent retrace of this. Um, but keep in mind, though, there is going to be liquidity sitting at this high or just above based on this breakdown candle. 
So this was retraced through here, right? Swept these highs, and then we got the rotation lower, but keep in mind that there is still going to be liquidity up here that the pound may wanna grab over the coming days. So that's gonna be significant as is 1.28. But really, I think that the US dollar index, the DXY, is the one to watch if you're trading the majors because this is a lot cleaner than anything we're seeing on the pound. And this is what I mean by today, we are seeing the market move significantly lower, uh, breaking below 105 and also potentially 104.45 or so, which has been a pivot. But the area to watch for the DXY over the coming days and potentially over the next 24 hours is going to be this level right down here, the bottom of this channel, which comes in just above 104. Okay, so as of right now, this level comes in right around between like 104 and 104.1. This, in my opinion, is going to be the area to watch because if this were to start breaking down, then that could lead to a larger breakdown for the dollar down here toward levels like 103.6 and 103. However, at the same time, you've got to understand that markets love symmetry. So a move down here could also be the start of the next leg higher because so far in 2024, we have seen the market trading within this channel. So the question is, is a retest down here going to trigger that next leg higher up here toward these highs around 107? Okay, or do we get the breakdown toward levels like 103? And that's yet to be seen, but the point here is that if you are shorting the US dollar, you are shorting into support. And I've been saying that since 105, and I get it. People might be saying, well, you've missed out on this move today. And that's okay, because I don't want to trade ahead of CPI anyway. You know, because even though you're looking at the market moving lower, hindsight is always 2020. The market could have gone in the complete opposite direction, in which case, if you were shorting the dollar, you would have been on the wrong side of the market. Um, so the point here is I don't trade events like today's CPI um, just because there's too much uncertainty there. But what I do look for is the aftermath of events like today and this kind of symmetry. Okay, so uh, again, for the DXY, this area down here between 104 and 104.1 is going to be key support because it would complete the channel that we've seen building here um, all year in 2024. But the question is, do we get a bounce from here or does this level fail? We'll see what happens here over the next day or two. Now, looking at the pound, this is going to matter. And this is why I don't favor analyzing a chart in a silo, meaning whenever I look at the pound or the euro, I'm always looking at the DXY and even things like bond yields. And the reason for that is because this is a lot cleaner than anything we're seeing on the pound. Okay, now you could be looking for a short up here at 1.28. However, the challenge there, the challenge with looking for a short up here is that if the pound is trading all the way up here over the coming days, then there's a good chance that the DXY is below the bottom of this channel. In which case, if the DXY is breaking down from a channel that's been intact all year, okay, if this were to happen down here, do you really want to be buying the dollar and shorting the pound? You know, probably not, right? Probably not. So that's why this is important to watch. The DXY is important to watch if you are trading the pound, just because something up here in this area um, you know, might actually be dollar bullish because it would put the DXY below that channel support. So instead, what I'm watching here for the pound is going to be 1.27 or just above. Because again, keep in mind that there's going to be liquidity up here based on this candle back here, okay, this red candle, and also these highs. So this area right here, okay, just above 1.27 would likely line up with the DXY testing this level around 104 to 104.1. And with the way that this is going, again, I mean, this could happen within the next 24 to 48 hours with the way the DXY is dropping. So I think that the highest probability trade here, uh, just in my opinion, is going to be to wait for the DXY to test this area down here around 104. And instead of just blindly buying here, because I always wait for confirmation, if we were to see the DXY reclaim this low back here, okay, so right around 104.5, if we were to see a bounce from here, reclaim this level, that right there would be dollar bullish. Okay, reclaim this area around 105, then that would also be bullish. If we were to see a break down below this, okay, a daily close below, then that would be bearish. And the way that's gonna look on the pound, and again, you're using this in combination with the pound, okay, because they do move inversely to one another. If we were to see the pound come up here and close above this, okay, or even take this high out and then close back below, then that could be a short, okay? Because that would be a failed breakout from up here and it could be a short towards some of these lows, okay? And again, if we were to see the market close above 1.27 to come up here to test 1.28, you've got to be careful shorting the pound because that could put the DXY below channel support. Okay, so a lot of things to consider here. 
Um, one last thing I do want to show you guys, though, if we look at the four hour time frame in combination with 1.27. All right. This could be something to watch as well, because remember, markets do love symmetry. And this is why ascending channels tend to work out so well. OK, so off of these recent highs, now you could draw it a little bit higher, um, which I'll go ahead and say that this level up here could be up here toward this recent high. But essentially what you're looking at here is the top of this short term ascending channel. OK, which also comes in up there just above 1.27. So I think this is going to be one to watch for the pound where we could get a retest up here, sweep these recent highs around 1.27 and then potentially get a rotation lower down here into some of these imbalances and retest the bottom of this channel. But again, I think the DXY is going to be the one to watch just because I love this channel that's developed in 2024. And I think it's a lot cleaner than anything we've seen on the pound or even the euro. Subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon for notifications. Don't forget to, to claim your 90% off lifetime access to the VIP course on community. Get real-time chat on Forex, crypto, commodities, and stocks, daily videos, exclusive setups, and also see my trades in real time. Trade well out there, and I will talk to you again tomorrow.